Well, good afternoon. I'm Scott Mueller with SJ Hardware USA, and I'm out here at the range today, and we're going to put a few rounds through our Charles Daly 601 DPMS. We're at a distance from 10 yards from the target, and we're going to try three different kinds of buckshot just to see how it patterns and how it functions. First one is the Rio full power buckshot, uh, nine double lot pellets, 1,345 feet per second. And uh, it has a roll crimp, uh, no shot cup in it. So these uh, pellets are pretty much bare as they're going down the barrel. We're gonna try that at a distance of 10 yards. I do have the cylinder choke in the Charles Daly 601 DPMS, and I just want to check uh, the pellet spread. I'm going to shoot one round at a measured distance of 10 yards. Okay, here is the pattern. Here's where the wad hit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all of this is in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about an eleven inch circle. But again, this is the uh, Rio full power buckshot, no shot cup. And again, we have one pellet here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're all in an 11 inch circle and the wad hit the center. A little, maybe the pattern is biased a little bit low, um, but again, we're gonna try another load through that Charles Daly 601 DPS. Okay, let's take a look at how this target fared with that Aguila nine pellet double lot buck at 1,275 feet a second. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And maybe one of these, here's this one is doubled up right here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pellets, and let's look at the extreme spread. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably about eight inches. Here's the furthest one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About an eight inch total spread. So a little bit tighter than the Rio full power buck. But again, the Rio doesn't have any shot cup to protect those pellets and they get scrubbed by the barrel. It would appear here that uh, the Aguila product must have a shot cup and a more effective wad because it's keeping the pattern a little bit tighter. And again, this is at a distance of uh, 10 yards with that Charles Daly 601 DPS. Uh, the next buckshot we're going to try is the Fiocchi Exacta buckshot. This is the low recoil version. Uh, this shell does have a full shot cup and the pellets are uh, nickel plated, which might help keep them more true and more round. Again, this is a lower velocity load. It specs at 1,150 feet per second. And I know from other shotguns that this typically patterns really well. So uh, let's give this a try with that, this Charles Daly 601 DPS. Okay, let's see how this Fiocchi did. You can see the wad punched a hole right in the middle. That was my aiming point there. But let's count the shots. One, or we'll count the pellets. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine pellets here, pretty centered. Let's check the distance between what appears to be the two further. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven inches across. So not a lot tighter than the Aguila. Um, but again, this is a low recoil load, nickel plated pellets, double lot pellets, a, a full shot cup. Um, so again, we got nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So pretty well centered, uh, not a real big pattern. And again, these are all shot at a range of uh, 10 yards. So just to summarize what we tested here today, uh, the first sequence was with the Rio full power double lot buckshot. It's spec'd at 1,345 feet a second. It has nine pellets of double lot buck, and that was the widest spread. Uh, the second type of shell we tested was the Aguila Ammunition High Velocity Buckshot, 1,275 feet a second. Double lot buck, again, nine pellets. And then the third type of buckshot we tested was the Fiocchi, low recoil, 1,150 feet per second buckshot, uh, nickel plated pellets. And again, this one patterned the tightest because of the lower velocity and the nickel plating. And again, this is the uh, Charles Daly 601 DPM, DPS. Um, this, I have the sights regulated, so I was holding the ghost ring sight in the center of the target and uh, patterned really, really quite well. And again, this is Scott from S&J Hardware. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, send me your questions. Thank you.